Hey guys, Did the Awesome here to give you another uh, Monster Legends guides. Uh, right now we are going to be talking about Tyros. He is part of my three monsters that people don't really like all that much or they don't feel like he's that great. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, why he's not as bad as people perceived him to be. Uh, hopefully I change your thoughts on him. Uh, and yeah, let's just get into it right away. Uh, this monster's attack, base attack power is 3,575. Uh, realize it is slightly higher than Raptor's power, or Killer Raptor's power, the video I just talked before. Uh, which is a relatively, this guy has a relatively high base power. Uh, but more often off, you will, you will often see this guy being disregarded, uh, as bad just because Mega Ostium stick exist. People don't like this monster simply because Mega Ostium exists. Mega Ostium is basically the better version uh, as told by many. Uh, but yeah, this but this guy isn't really bad though. He's not, he's just not I mean like he's not Mega Ostium. He doesn't have any I think, it's just, I think his only problem is he does, doesn't have a buff. He doesn't have anything to really go off of. He's kind of like uh, he might, I think he's just like General Dharma's pet. I think that's why people don't like him all that much. Uh, he just doesn't have... He's just pure damage. Uh, there's no like unique thing about him. Uh, except he does AoE burning. That's nice. Uh, but I think beyond that, I think that's all he can really do is damage and burning. Uh, not many people like that. Many people want to see different things, you know. Uh, this is your, you know, generic fire attack fire monster burner uh that's i think that's why people don't like him that much it's just because he's kind of plain uh he is a really strong monster still uh and I'll, i guess another thing they don't like about him is his relatively low life sitting at 22k uh honestly i'm gonna say this right now uh put a life rune on him uh, i i often see so many people in, in like the monster legend comments saying he's bad because of his bad life uh, just put a life rune on him. Patch that life up. He doesn't need to be faster than the attacker. Your main goal really is to make sure your attacker stays alive. Uh, so I don't know why people don't put life runes on their attackers. Uh, instead, they put a speed rune on their attackers. And I don't really get that all that much. Uh, I know like in some situations like enemy Voltix uh, and stuff like that. But in reality, you're never going to outrun a Voltic anyway. So why are you putting a speed rune on your uh, attacker monster if you're never going to run mo monsters like, you know, high attack speed monsters. Why are you wasting a rune slot uh, to not go first anyway uh, than the faster attacker? Just put a life rune, you'll live through things longer. Uh, you have a chance of living through the attack better uh, than the enemy, uh, in all honesty. Uh, but yeah, he is also kind of slow too. He is sitting at uh, 3,399 speed. He's about as fast as Varuna, uh, which isn't a good thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to go with his uh, ultimate here. Uh, his ultimate is Spirit Outburst. It is an AoE fire damage. It burns all enemies. Uh, there's nothing to really say about this. It's just a straight up uh, fire ult. I don't know how good this is in war. Uh... It might be good in war in the case of the event you're actually fighting Darmouth. Uh, because, you know, it's Darmouth is, like, not immune to fire. Or just anything that's not immune to fire in general. Uh, it's, that's all this really does. It's not a really high-end ult either. It's, you know, fire element, so you're not going to do much to the fire enemy. But you will pretty much burn everything else. You're pretty much... In, you, might, you, might, uh, you might do a lot of damage to everything else, though. Uh, so, yeah, all these moves are nothing special. Uh, burning teleport deals very heavy special damage. Uh, requires cool. Requires no cooldown. Uh, this is a pretty solid ability. I'd say put this on. I don't. I don't know if there's a better one. This is not nice one turn. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get. We'll get to that. Uh, this is heated souls. Deals moderate fire damage to all enemies. May burn all targets. This is his. You know, standard burn. Uh, I think pretty much every fire monster has a move like this at some point, and still do. Uh, but yeah, so this is your basic burn. I'd say put it on there. Uh, deals heavy spire damage, uh, may burn target. It's 45 damage, zero turn cooldown. I don't think it's worth it. Don't put, don't put the skill on. Uh, so this is, uh, pure Tyros power. Deals massive special damage, requires cooldown. Uh, this is a 65, uh, power thing. It's a one turn cooldown. 
uh, I'd, I'd say run it. Uh, it's pretty much like uh, Bone Chomp, except it has a cooldown, uh, which kind of blows. It does it d That does kind of suck, uh, that it does have a cooldown, but, you know, meh. It's, it's still, it still does a lot of damage. Uh, keep in mind, this guy does do a lot of damage with, you know, like the base power of 65 and 55 power. That's, re that's relatively high damage uh, for single target. Uh, Flaming Ground Souls. This is his uh, main AoE. It's 45 damage. Uh, obviously put this on. Uh, like I said, there's not much to this guy. There, there's just literally damage and burning. That's all he really does. Uh, this is a single target burn, deals very heavy fire damage. May burn target requires cooldown. Uh, there's nothing special about this move. Uh, it's a single target burn move. Uh, so yeah, basically this this is the simplest. This is probably the most simplest guide I think I've ever done yet. Uh, he's just pure damage, like you know, pure Tyros power, burning teleporter, heated souls, and flaming grounds are the. Are, flaming ground is the choice I give you for move set. Uh, I don't think you really need anything else. Um, runes, you can either shove full, like, full, again, full, like, damage runes on this monster. Uh, or you can do, you know, the safe way or just two, two strengths and a life rune. Uh, just to make sure he stays out there longer. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd say that. i say you should strap a life rune on it. Uh, keep it alive. Uh, all that jazz. Uh, in case for some reason your AoE denier doesn't really deny everyone uh i think that's a i think that's the best way to do it uh with things like demise too i think demise can really help pick up this monster uh in terms of what it needs to be doing uh like you know like getting attacking before the enemy attacker and bursting down the enemy attacker because i think this monster can actually burst down the enemy attacker i think i think with demise help he can at least burst down one person for sure uh, that's where you gotta really look at this move specifically. It's 65 damage, and if you get that double damage boost, I think it's pretty much a for sure kill at that point. Uh, so keep that in mind. You wanna either have it where uh, you have like three three strength runes again, three strength runes, or a life rune. Uh, really, I think that's what you should really do with this monster. Uh, it just depends on your setup. Uh, Partners, demise. You want demise with this monster? I just got done saying that. Uh, you know, it, you know, I can give prioritize extra turn. Uh, he can kill the thing that will have him cause him trouble and stuff like that. Uh, and he still keeps his turn in the turn order. Um, any good denier like Cavanfish, uh, just the basic deniers. Um, you know, uh, anything works. You know, with deniers. Uh, for buffers, uh, obviously demise, and obviously like, uh, you know, if you want to play it risky, you can you can do uh, you can do reptile uh, with that triple damage buff. Uh, you're just not going to be able to get d prioritize double damage uh, or anything like that, but you will have like the triple damage and double damage buff on you. Uh, Lux would be a good idea. Um, Timeiron, Timeiron's a great supporter uh, for him. Uh, things that can keep him alive. I'd say, uh, I think a really good monster for, uh, in terms of support would be Gretchen with that, uh, uh, shields and the heals. Uh, if you give him a life rune, you can make him a tanky attacker. And, yeah, pe people are gonna have a hard time getting rid of him then at that point. Because the whole idea with him is you burst him down quickly before he can do anything. But if he has all these shields and life regeneration up, can you really burst him down? Is that really a thing anymore? Uh, is really guy... You really, you really have to have that question out there. But, uh, yeah, that's all there really is to Tyros. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all there really is to it. He's just a plain attacker. Uh, if I had to choose between him and Mega Ostium, I'd choose Mega Ostium. But I actually have both of them, and I actually am hatching uh, this guy at the moment, Tyros. Uh, I'm going to level him up to uh, 100 uh, because I am low on uh, fire monsters and I am going to do the safer build of two strength and a life. Uh, or maybe two lives and a strength. Uh, or just, yeah, just uh, do, do two strengths and a life uh, just to make them, you know, sustainable and stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, that's all I really have to say about this monster. This monster is okay. Uh, is he broken? No. Uh, He's just a plain. He's just a straight up uh, fire attacker, really. Uh, 
But yeah, that's all there really is to it. I'm Dib the Awesome, and I'll catch you guys later.